Some people were unhappy about my coming here. They believe I'm a terrorist. They believe I'm a communist. They believe I'm a murderer. Are you a terrorist? Are you a communist? <laughs> what do you think? They'll try to kill him. The role that he played in forging one of the biggest global movements is not fully appreciated. said quite honestly that he really didn't want to go into government. He wanted to continue to be organizing in hostels and in rural areas. It was his death that brought about a, a situation where people felt that we have lost a son. It's the sort of love and patriotic fervor that we had. No other life for us except the African national Congress. When I was coming back, I was saying that uh, for me this is a moment of uh, of happiness, of joy, sheer joy. Let us make it a strong organization. You know, the beautiful people of South Africa who, who have been subjected to a cruelty no other people, what very few people in the world have seen, but the brave, proud black South Africans. Let us build our party. Although I was not coming into a situation of freedom, but I knew that uh, nothing would stop us from marching forward to freedom to a new South Africa into a free country, into a country where they would fight for social justice, in a country where we would begin to tackle the problems of the, the poverty of our people. Members of Parliament will spend two weeks serving their constituency from 3 to 17 April 2023. This period coincides with the 30th anniversary of the assassination of our struggle hero comrade Chris Hani. Monday 10 April marks 30 years since Hani died at the hands of the hurtful ultra-conservative white supremacist. In honor of Comrade Chris Hani, the ANC MPs will dedicate this constituency period as a campaign for quality public service delivery, particularly for the working class and the poor. <laughs>